Hello my friend, wonder what is the best knight add-ons? So let me show you all of them and rank them in my tier list. Because in today's video I will go from brown to pink and by the end you will know what is the best and broken add-ons. So without further ado, Tabard. Increase patrol time by 6 seconds. This is actually ok add-on, because normally if you want to make full patrol pass, guards will do only one trip and only one way. And with this one they can patrol more, so it's nice zoning and actually patrolling tool. Mid. Decrease time to break pellets or other tasks for guards. You won't get use of it most of the time, so I drop it to trash. Map. Gives more detection range. It can be useful, because detection range will be really huge and guards can find and mess with survivors more often, so it's ok one. Lamp. Gives more patrol speed. In my opinion, it's just useless, so it's trash. By the way, what's your opinion on Knight? Do you like this new killer? Write your opinion in comments, I read them all. And now let's jump into yellow add-ons. We got 3 guard types that do certain tasks better and normally Knight cycles through them. But in yellow category we have add-ons to make certain guards appear twice in a row. While on its own all of these add-ons is uh, kinda useless trash, but combined with other add-ons they can be deadly. But more on this later. Right now now, blade, trash, manacles, good, and battle axe, broken. Other yellow add-ons, horsemeat, can be somewhat uh, good to make guards mess around in chases more, but considering that you can escape guards chase by picking up the flag, it's bad add-on. Call to arms, gives little bit more patrolling distance, not useful, but bad. And now green add-ons, I actually expected very good stuff here, but torch, if survivor escape, uh, chase 3 times, you will get undetectable for 25 seconds. Sounds good, but considering that you need to initiate chase 3 times, this will take minimum of like 2 minutes, so it's impossible to get this effect more than few times a game. Torch is trash. Tongs can be used to finish survivor that got caught by patrol, so it's really ok one. Iron mask prevents our reading when guards chase survivor, so it's good if survivor relying on windows of opportunity or key to see killer's aura, but still he could see all neat pellets before chase and uh, just pre-drop without mind games if uh, key is not working. So maybe this uh, add not trash, but let's call this one just bad. Chainmail will work if guards hit survivor. This won't happen too much, so trash. Hilt same. And we are in the purple area, this is nice area. Griefs after you summon jailer, it's third guardian by the way. You will get 10% movement speed bonus, very nice in chases. You can ask him to break pellet and easily finish loop with bonus speed. So this combined with yellow add-on to summon jailer 2 times is really good. Poultice will make survivors more than 36 meters from assassin scream. It could be nice info, but 36 meters is a really long distance. So to make it work you want to summon assassin in the corners of the map and this will make him useless. Screams can interrupt actions, so it could be paired with deadman switch or some totem builds, but it's uh, kinda situational and with knights pretty mediocre chasing, so for me it's like trash, like yellow double assassin addon, it's just trash ones. Flint and steel, this one. This one is broken. So basically, after every Carnifex, which is first knight by the way, you will get our reading outside of unbroken pellets. Considering how much pellets on the maps, it's like a little pursue from the start and permanent scorch hook plus of rage later, that can be casted two times in a row, combined with the yellow addon. And it can be used in chases to outplay survivors mind games in loops. And additionally, you can cycle really fast by giving tasks to other two guards guards. So you guessed it right. It's just broken one. It's super broken guys. It's very good add-on. And next one blacksmith hammer. When survivor escapes a hunt by any means other than flag, he will be hindered and exhausted. Really nice stuff. Can be used to finish chase if you initiate guard chase and just stay on the flag a little bit, forcing survivor to run away. Still a little bit situational and uh, have some counterplays, so it's just good. And now I guessed most interesting stuff. Iridescent add-ons. Knight contract. After you summon guard, survivors nearby will have exposed status and can be one-shotted. Sounds cool, but it's only every fourth guard. So for example, 
you're on the loop with a pallet. Just ask Guard to break pallet and go one shot survivor. But again, cycle to every fourth guard is time consuming, and it works nice only on basic loops, because 8 second timer is not uh, so much. So while it feels strong, I will put it only in OK tier. And last one, company banner. So it's kinda bamboozle, but it's even for pallets. And if guard chasing someone, survival will act like bamboozle for other survivors too. So this one can be used in chase, in loops and other circumstances. But uh, is it broken? Can't say so, but it's definitely good. So this is my final tier list. I hope you enjoyed this content, drop a like button and watch awesome knight video on the screen right now.